Hello and welcome to the channel. This is the next in the Corvette C6 Blender tutorial series that I started around 18 months ago and um, for various reasons I didn't continue with it until restarting it now. Um, I've learned a lot since then so um, at first the next few episodes will be um, tidying up the topology here on the this is the guide mesh that we'll use to cut out panels etc so so let's get started um, I want to redo redo this area so first off I'm going to choose this so select that vertice and then hold the control key and get the last one press X and then delete the vertices um, we'll then press alt and left click here press X and delete these vertices and then just ho I'll hover over this um, area and press the L key on the keypad and then press X and delete the vertices so we've got this point to start from now um, I also want to um, think get rid of this line so I'll press alt press X and then dissolve the edges okay so we've got that um, this so where do we go from here um, so I want this to come around here so I want the, uh, the edges to loop around here okay so how do we go about that um, so I think we join this and this and press F J sorry join there um, so we've got this um, delete this this line here so press X and dissolve the edges um, click this and this press the right mouse button and choose subdivide so we put a put point here just edge slide this by pressing G twice just move it across um, let's join these two together press J so we've got this um, we'll now I think we will let's have a look at this so if we okay with that right I know what to do so this one and this one and press right mouse and go subdivide then so we don't need this so press X and dissolve edge We're going to move this down a little bit. So, so deselect those and press G twice and just move that down to there and look to the side. So, from here, um, just scaling this. So, press S, Shift, and Y because we don't want the to scale on the uh, Y axis and just pull it out a little bit. I'll do. Okay, so what have we got now? Let's have a look. So 
So this we don't want either now. So highlight these two, press X and dissolve the edge. Um, this I think I'm going to to dissolve this edge here. Press press X and dissolve edge. So we've got this now. Um, this I'll press G twice and zoom it back to about here. And then we'll join this. So we'll put a new put a new so press right mouse button and press subdivide. Move this across, so press G twice here, put that in the middle somewhere. Bit more. There. And then join these two, press J. And then just round this off a little bit, press G twice. Bring it down to about here. And just take this one out just a little bit so I've got that curve going all the way around there okay now these two need to come back a bit so G twice now we'll plot this line at a later date on here to make sure that we've got it in the right place um, but this seems all right now we've got what we've got is um, quads all the way around now instead of tries okay the next bit is to um, is to you see these purple lines so what I'm going to do is press N and take out the crease so what we do is highlight a line so press alt select that um, and go down to the item, press item on this um, subsection here, go to the main crease and press zero and that will get rid of that. Um, keeping the N key activated for a while, so press alt and do exactly the same here, so press zero, the same here. We'll put these lines in again by um, by having double lines to create the crease. Um, this doesn't always work properly when you put when you put a crease on. So we'll define these lines later on. So I'm just going around now and um, getting re rid of the main crease. Set it all back to zero and here as well. Press zero, increase, okay so here we are this is what we've got so far. Let's have a look to see if we've got any more. So, so press zero here. So I've got rid of all them now. Now we need to space out these better so I'm going to press alt highlight this inner line press right mouse button go to loop tools if you haven't got loop, loop tools go into preferences um, and then just type in loop so go to add-ons make sure that add-ons is selected and just type in loop and loop tools will come there just click that little um, that little tick there and it will it will add it and then press um, right mouse Go to loop tools and use space. So obviously now we need to space these as well. So there. Now make sure that you get all of this. So it's just selected here. We need all of these selected. So press shift and alt to add in the rest there. And then delete these. So press B, left mouse middle mouse sorry so press B again so go here what am I doing here 
here, middle mouse. Let me get rid of it. So, I always record, <coughs> by the way, on these videos, I always record as I'm working the model. So, that is why um, so that's not worked out very well, is it? There must be <coughs> there must be um, more vertices there. So we'll just press Control and Z. And let's just go back steps. So we've got it as it is there. We, we'll have to space these out manually. It looks the same number corresponding to round here so I don't know why that's taken it wrongly. I thought there'd be more but there isn't. There's the same number of vertices on both. So, <clears throat> so we'll just move these about manually to... That's the other thing, the closer, if they're not um, evenly spaced out, the closer these are you'll get imperfections in your mesh. So if we highlight the um, if we highlight the mech, if we put mech cap here and then just go for a reflective mech cap so wait till these all load up go to that one for instance you can see that it's not quite it's not quite right so we need to to, to do that the reflections are not flowing through cleanly so happy with this bit but um, here it's not right so we're just going to have to tidy that up but that will be in another video because I want to keep these videos relatively short um, but that's a start that's a start so the next bit is to highlight this so click there left mouse there control click here Let's just have a look. Let's just slide this down. Let's slide down. Make this a little bit. And then we'll be going through each of these in the next video, just tidying up what we've done. Okay. Make sure that this is in the right area, etc. Okay. And we'll be moving back. Because um, I intend to have a, um, so we go to the side view, the guide mesh I want to be from above the splitter here and across and all the way to the back and at the back, all the way to there um, with guide mesh <clears throat> and then a separate one for the roof. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll use the guide mesh, copy it, and then cut out the panels um, for the car. So let's just check on the side view that, um, that this needs to be a little bit more rounded, I think. Let's have a look. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. <coughs> okay. So thank you for watching. Um, in the next episode, I will show you um, how to tidy up the rest of the, this before we move backwards with the car. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.